glad to have you here tonight. Uh, if you haven't signed up and want to, go ahead right now. We're we'll fixing to pull that sheet up. Uh, nobody hit that. Jeff, would you grab that and bring it please? Roll call. Councilman Elliott? Here. Councilman Bolden? Here. Councilman Sipes? Here. Councilman Sansing? Here. Councilman Ray? Here. Councilman Mashburn? Here. Councilman Trailer? Here. Councilman Twitty? Here. Councilman Smith? Councilman Collins? Here. Mr. May? I'm here. I have one absent, sir. Uh, yeah, she had uh, sent an email to me early saying she had a procedure that wasn't going to be here tonight. <coughs> Okay, we have the uh, presentation of the minutes August 15th meeting for you, and I hear a motion to approve the minutes of so July 18th. Second. Okay. 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 Call it the favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, All those opposed say nay. Okay, we have a consent agenda. Do I ever have anything on the consent agenda? Here. So we'll move the consent agenda. Second. Okay, any discussion? Being on all those in favor, say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. Alright, it's approved. Uh, that brings us to ordinance 1612. Uh, ordinance 1612 yeah, is an ordinance. Uh, fire station request. I move we place ordinance 1612 on the first reading. Second. 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 Councilman Elliott. Aye. Councilman Golden. Aye. Councilman Sipes. Yes. Councilman Sansing. Aye. Councilman Ray. Aye. Councilman Mashburn. Aye. Councilman Trailer. Aye. Councilman Twitty. Aye. Councilman Collins. Aye. Ordinance number 1612, ordinance waiving competitive bidding to the purchase of specific turn on care from the fire department of Jacksonville, declaring an emergency in for other purposes. You all remember last year in our budget, I asked for $42,000 so that we could purchase some fire turnout year for approximately 20 firefighters. And after conducting some research, we found that there were seven different major brands. And if you look at that shelf <coughs> that I gave you, you'll see items like uh, different parts of the shell, there's different makeup of moisture barriers, different makeup of thermal liner. When we looked at what we thought was best for us, <coughs> And then we looked at the overall cost. And what we came up with is there's someone in our own backyard, just on John Harden Drive, that actually can give us a much better deal than we ever really realized. Uh, previously, we went with Casco, what is this Casco current year in the upper left-hand column, the Globe GX3. And we have found that Iridium from David's Fire is comparable and in some ways we think is superior. One of the most superior ways you'll see that I have highlighted is under thermal liner, under Bravo. That thermal liner, liner is the highest temp before breakdown. So we like that. When you look at all the costs, it comes out to about $33,516.20 tax included. And half turn up here in stock. And like I said, they're right down the road. That's going to save us about $8,484 and change from our original budget. The emergency portion of this is that it's required by NMPA 1971 to replace turnout gear when they expire. They expire after 10 years. We were going to do some research and try to purchase this in the first quarter of the year, but I know that it's been common practice if we can kind of hold off and make the purchases in the first quarter of the year for good reason. So the second quarter of the year, April started and we got real busy. We had a firefighter pass away, we had a tragedy, we had a lot of things going on. That pushed our research back, and that's why I'm here today asking for this emergency. Their turnout here expired. If we don't replace the turnout here in a timely manner, and something should happen, an injury or job to death, that will be uh, investigated by NIOSH, the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. There's two major things that they inspect. Safety gear that you're using and train records. So I'm trying to avoid that. If you pass this today, I can get these turnout gear in two to three business days, as opposed to waiting for the bid process, only to get the same results, I believe, for cost and effectiveness. And not have to wait 30 to 60 days for turnout gear. Any questions? Any questions? I have one. 
How many firefighters is it all of them or just some of them that's going to get these? Just some. There's 20. 20 sets. 20. Yeah, there should be about 15 to 20 sets. So you're replacing them as they expire? Yes. Okay. Chief, I'd yes. like to applaud you for doing your homework on this. Not only did you find something that appears to be the cheapest bid, but it's low from the backyard, and you did a really good job of doing your homework. Thank you. Chief, you already have this in your budget, right? Yes, we have $42,000 uh, for the budget in our last year. Just north of 33500 Any other questions? Being none, I'd entertain, entertain your motion. I'd like the motion we approve on the first reading and <laughs> yes. the second. Is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I'll second. I'll second that. <laughs> All right. Roll call. Councilman Elliott? Aye. Councilman Bolden? Aye. Councilman Sykes? Aye. Councilman Zanzi? Aye. Councilman Ray? Aye. Aye. <coughs> Councilman Ashburn? Aye. Councilman Trailer? Aye. Councilman Twitty? Aye. Councilman Collins? Aye. Carried. I'd entertain a motion to put on the so second long. reading. So second. approve on second reading, put on third final reading. Okay, any discussion? Yes, I got one question. Uh, and yet we're not taking out the competitive bids, so these parts, where did they come from? Is that, are they quotes? Or? These are written quotes that I had one of my fire captains research. So they are quotes from okay. These are quotes from these particular things. Okay. Right. They will be the real cost we pay. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any other questions? Roco. Councilman Elliott? Aye. Councilman Bowen? Aye. Councilman Sykes? <coughs> yes. Councilman Sansing? Aye. Councilman Ray? Aye. Councilman Ashburn? Aye. Councilman Trailer? Aye. Councilman Twitty? Aye. Councilman Collins? Aye. I didn't make a motion to approve it or not. So moved. Any more discussion? <clears throat> Councilman Elliott? Aye. Councilman Bowden? Aye. Councilman Sykes? Yes. Councilman Sansing? Aye. Councilman Ray? Aye. Councilman Ashburn? Aye. Councilman Trailer? Aye. Councilman Twitty? Aye. Councilman Collins? Of the motion to continue to the ordinance is approved. I'd entertain your motion to the old words clause. Second. Any discussion? All right. Roll call. Councilman Elliott. Aye. Councilman Bowman. Aye. Councilman Sides. Yes. Councilman Sansing. Aye. Councilman Ray. Aye. Councilman Mashburn. Aye. Councilman Trailer. Aye. Councilman Twain. Aye. Councilman Collins. Aye. Okay. We have approved and adopted the emergency clause. Good work, Chief. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that brings us to our uh, Jimmy Oakley. Jimmy here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, wait a minute. We got the phone system first. I'm sorry, Jim. All right, we got order 1613. Move that we put it on first reading. Second. Okay, roll call. Councilman Elliott. Aye. Councilman Bowden. Aye. Councilman Sykes. Yes. Councilman Sansing. Aye. Councilman Ray. Aye. Councilman Mashburn. Aye. Councilman Trailer. Aye. Councilman Twitty. Aye. Councilman Collins. Aye. Ordinance number 1613, an ordinance waiving competitive bidding for the purchase of a new phone system for City Hall, the Jacksonville Community Center, and CDBG building for appropriate implementation and access for the department and IT representatives declaring an emergency and for other purposes. Okay. Mr. IT Director, you would recommend. <coughs> Reason, uh, part of the reason this is coming to an emergency is because you know, we have three phone systems in three different locations. <coughs> City Hall, one in the community center, and one in the community development. We're dropping calls repeatedly over and over and over uh, to the point where uh, Kevin House had to open the uh, community center uh, for everyone weather and couldn't place a call. So that's pretty bad. So we've been looking at other options um, as far as repair. Repair has become uh, extremely difficult, to say the least. Uh, all Century Link, which is the uh, carrier operator of the service, they say there's nothing wrong with the service. All ACI, which has been that takes care of the phone system. And they haven't fixed it ever. So are looking at brand phone system. Now, we've gotten one quote from KMS, which 
K and S out of uh, Fort Smith, for the sixty-four thousand dollars. Uh, after negotiating with them, uh, with IT doing most of the implementation, we got that number down to 37,000. So.